lot has been made about the effort it requires you guys to, to defend with and how it's kind of tiring it looks. What's that What's that like from, from your perspective out there doing it? You kind of seem good. Yeah, I'd be, I mean, you got to be well conditioned, but uh, it's just kind of like a mindset thing and just kind of pushing through knowing like it's uh, bigger than just you. You got to stop the man in front of you. So just, uh, just knowing like, that uh, by the way, we don't have that effort and intensity during the game, like uh, they could take advantage. And so you've seen it's been working for us. So In the break before you played Phoenix, Ant talked about you guys getting into great shape. Are you using this week for conditioning or rest? Uh, a little mixture of both. I mean, the strength coaches, they have like, I don't want to tell the secret, but they got this new device. It kind of helps us like uh, with oxygen and stuff. So we'd be using that as we're working out and then we'll go over there and get some oxygen just to breathe better. So it's like a recovery and uh, conditioning thing. Jim, is there something about the playoffs that really appeals to you just in terms of your focus, your intensity and, and locking uh, in the way it seems like you have? Yeah, I'm going to say it's just like how many teams is the best teams in the playoffs, I would say. And then... Uh, just knowing like it's a chance to win the championship, so you always have to be locked in for your main goal. And then I'll say also just it's on TV, like you want to showcase your skills, your talent, so just being able to do that as well. What do you expect from the Nuggets in Game 3, uh, considering they're the defending champs and they're down 0-2? Uh, I just I don't expect them to give up or give in at all. I mean, they won the championship last year, so they know how hard it is and they know what it takes to get there. So just I expect them to come out like, trying to get us out the way early, uh, try to blow us out, but I feel like we'll be ready and we're ready for anything, really. We talked last series about how when you and Nikhil are on the floor, and it almost doesn't matter yeah. what you guys are guarding. What, what, was that, what was that like in game two, especially when that moment when yeah. you and Nikhil had Jamal mm -hmm. Murray trapped? Yeah, it's like, board. that's exactly what I meant. Like, <laughs> he picked up Jamal Murray, I ran to someone else, and the other dude wasn't running down the court, so I just went to go double, and then it just shows the versatility. You see Nas guarding Jokic full court, like slow mo too. So you see, like we're all able to do it. It's just an effort thing. How important has has that the, the ability for everybody to guard? Mm -hmm. Or just been you guys in the series trying to maybe just wear that? Uh, I feel like uh, it's well for it just because the teams can like uh, tag mismatches or like try to ma manipulate pick and roll. So like. After you bring up Nas, he can guard now, guard guards as well. So it's just, it makes it harder for the other team. It's obviously nice to build a lead early, but how important are those first five minutes for you guys just kind of setting the tone and maybe dictating the terms of the way the game's going to be played? Yeah, I mean, like just picking up full court, like showing them that we're going to have pressure all game. And it's going to be like, it's going to be a battle for them, just not nothing easy. And I'll say just our intensity on defense shows that early. I, I, when you were in the last game without Rudy, when you guys were scrambling around defensively, it looked a little bit like the year before Rudy mm -hmm. got here. What what role do you think that season had kind of in building this defense into being? You talking like, with the year we had Pat? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah I'd no, say, I mean, it was like a year we didn't have Rudy, like as a guy just to funnel people to. So, I mean, that's a way, another way of style we can play, just being able to rotate, uh, fly around. But I'll say, no disrespect to my guy Rudy. It felt like we didn't even. I forgot we had, didn't have Rudy that game because we was all like they wouldn't even get in the paint really against yeah. us. So I mean, it's it's just a great defense that coach got us set up in. So when um, even with Rudy out there, do you feel like just the way that you defend, the the energy, the, the intensity? Do you think that is infectious for the other guys when they see how hard you're you're out there trying to defend? Yeah, I think uh, it kind of trickles down to everyone. I'll say just. Because I know when I see Nikhil and I'm off out the game, I'll be standing up clapping like, oh, he's going to get a steal, this and that. So, I mean, it for sure brings energy, like, to the team. And I will say it just helps all of us want to guard. So, What do you think about this team's ability to adjust? It seemed like in the regular season, like, game to game, your guys' defensive scheme was tweaked to, like, take away the other team. I don't know if everybody does uh, that. Yeah, I'll say like some new like we never did. We never used to switch like off ball. Now like in the playoffs, we switching schemes so much so fast. So I mean, we all picking it up, learning it, like switching off ball, doing different things and pick and roll. So I mean, the coach is doing a great job in making sure we know what we're doing and where we're supposed to be at. So. Coach sometimes are probably afraid of that, you know, like giving too much to yeah. guys. But how have you guys been able uh, to digest? We've been good. I mean, the scout team we play against, they make sure they can test us as well because if we're not locked in and stuff, they'll go score. They're still NBA players, so just they're helping us out as well. Jaden, back when you were like a kid and you thought about playing in, in the playoffs, like maybe didn't envision yourself yeah. being a defensive 
So I mean, yeah. Or do, uh, do I don't know. Like, I'll say, like, two things about being in the playoffs. I never, like, seen myself playing KD in the playoffs. <laughs> or then same, same with Jokic. So, I mean, it's just it's, – it's a blessing, like, of the work that we put in. And I'll just say uh, – Man, I don't know what to say, to be honest. Yeah, I don't it's know what to say. Yeah. Jaden, you're, you're like plus 50, and you've only scored five points. Like, how do you stay locked in defensively when the offense isn't, like, coming mm -hmm. and you're not getting uh, a ton of shots, things like just that? Just knowing, like, what my job is. I know my job is to guard the other team's best player and make it as hard as possible for them. So, I mean, me making shots, I just I try not to think about it. Like, it's going to come. Like, I know I can score. I know my capabilities. So, just staying confident on that end, and then when it goes in, it's just a plus to my defense. But.